All right, guys. So everyone's been talking about one thing at the moment in Australian cricket, and that is Justin Langer. So let's do this. Now, let's start between the relationship with me and Justin Langer. I get asked this question all the time. People seen the Amazon test series. Uzi's out of the team because of Justin Langer. Let me stop it right there. My relationship with Justin Langer is really good. To be honest, I still talk to him, still text him here and there till this day. And that's because we have a lot of respect for each other. Now, people think I got dropped because I spoke up to him, stood up to him and all these other things. It's actually quite the opposite. I feel like I actually became closer with him and he actually gained my respect and I gained his respect because we had some really honest and open conversations together so let's just stop it right there look i got dropped for the ashes there was two people who dropped me trevor Holmes and justin langer so it wasn't just jl and look between us two i don't think i should have been dropped but hey cricket's a funny game and unfortunately selections are part of the game uh, do I believe I should have been there the last couple of years? Was I in the best top six batsman the last couple of years in my heart? Yes, I do believe that. But I don't select the teams. So for me, it's water off a duck's back. I've been through the ups and downs. I've been dropped. I haven't been dropped. So it doesn't bother me anymore. That's why I can be open and honest and say, look, yes, I do believe I should be there, but I'm not. And that's cricket. Now let's talk about JL and himself as a person. Look, he is a very passionate person. He's a very passionate guy, loves Australian cricket, wants the best for everyone, wants to only succeed. He's driven by winning. He's driven by winning the right way. And all the things he brought into the Australian team after Sam Pabergate were focused on those things. Now, one thing that keeps coming up with him is his emotions. Yes, the man wears his heart on his sleeve. He can be very emotional. It's probably his one downside, probably his greatest weakness is his emotions because he rides a high and he rides a low. But that's only because he's passionate. Unfortunately, that's probably one thing that's letting him down the most, but it comes from a very good place. And he knows it. He knows he needs to improve. He's said in the media, I've chatted to him. He's trying to improve on that. If I'm being honest, international cricket is a tough place. So not having your emotions tested from time to time, I mean, that's just going to happen. That's just what it is all about. I think the more important and disappointing thing is that the players haven't stood up and chatted to JL about this a long time ago. Things are still coming out in the media. Now I know how these things happen. Players don't talk to someone. They discuss it between themselves. Either someone's going out to the media and telling them exactly their point of view and what's going on, or they're telling their managers and the manager's telling the media. That's how it gets out. That's how any of these things get out. That's how gossip always starts. So there is a leak somewhere, but there's no point trying to figure out who or when or what because this has been going on in cricket since I've been playing and long, long before then. So there's no point in worrying about that. The issue is that there is something going on in the Australian team with the players and Justin Langer. And unfortunately, he was in a pretty bad Bangladesh and West Indian tour, which I think also wasn't entirely his fault since the majority of the team wasn't even there. I think it's pretty harsh to judge him on the last two series. And how do you think JL feels? He probably feels like the guys in the team are probably stabbing him in the back. And that's what it looks like. So that's why it's so disappointing. It's actually a really bad look. This is something that the group needs to sort out ASAP. What's my verdict? Look, at the end of the day, there is something there. Um, and I mentioned it before. A lot of these things stem from, from JL wearing his emotions on his sleeve and things going up and down and him following that ride. And I think that puts the players off a little bit. That's where a lot of these chats and talks and everything that's going on are stem from. And Justin knows that. I'm sure he's going to do his best to be more approachable to sort this issue out there's no player that is perfect and there's no coach that is perfect so i have no doubt that he's going to go back and try to work on these things what i think should happen with justin langer to be honest the t20 world cup is right around the corner he deserves the opportunity to coach australia in t20 world cup he deserves the opportunity to coach australia in the ashes and in the, after all that if things are still not going away the team's not gelling all the players are back and things aren't happening and something is still up and going wrong, that is when you look at things and think, okay, maybe do we need to change something? Just like you would with a player, give him as many opportunities as you can, which always doesn't happen, but your best players are your best players, your best coach is your best coach. He was the best coach three years ago. Things don't really change too much now. You need to have more opportunity. If things are still not going right, then you may decide to try to do something different. Let's put it in perspective here. It's not always 100% the coach's fault. The guys aren't performing. The players have to take onus too at some stage. The guys have to perform better. And at the end of the day, it's not just one person. So I think there needs to be some sort of perspective put around this too. I'm sure there is, but let's see what happens moving on.